Another method in uh, solving a system of linear equation using the LU decomposition is the Cholesky's method. Now, in using Cholesky's method, we are going to decompose the coefficient matrix. Now, say for example, we have uh, an expression coefficient matrix times x equals b. We are going to decompose matrix A or the coefficient matrix into the product of the lower triangular matrix multiplied by the transpose of the lower triangular, triangular matrix or we're going to decompose A with the transpose of the upper triangular matrix with the upper triangular matrix. Right? But before we can use Cholesky's method, we need to we need to define first if this method is applicable to the given uh, equation. So uh, we can use Cholesky's method if the coefficient matrix, right? So if the coefficient matrix is symmetrical, meaning to say that whatever you see on the first row, you're going to see on the first column. Whatever you see on the second row, you will be seeing on the second column. And whatever you see on the third row will be see, uh, must be seen on the third column. Also, the coefficient matrix must be a positive definite matrix. Definite matrix. All right. To illustrate how to use Cholesky's method, let us have this uh, system of linear equations uh, with three unknowns right so if we're going to create or if we're going to create yes if we're going to create the coefficient matrix here we have 4 10 8 we have 10 26 26 we have 8 26 61 and we're going to multiply it by x1 x2 and x3 and that would now be equal to a constant matrix 44 128 and 200 14 All right so uh, before we can before we apply uh, this um, principles let us first check if the coefficient matrix is symmetrical and if the coefficient is a positive definite matrix so to check if the coefficient matrix is symmetrical uh, look if the first row or the elements of the first row are all equal to the elements of this first column. Look if the elements of the second row are all uh, equal to the second column and the elements of the third row equal to the last or the third column. And in this case, this is a symmetrical matrix. Now, let us test if the coefficient of matrix or the coefficient matrix is a positive definite matrix. So to do that, uh, these conditions must be satisfied. The first condition is that the first element must be a positive one. The determinant of the first two columns or first two rows and two columns of the matrix must be a positive number as well and the determinants of the whole matrix must also be a positive one. Now, let us try to uh, solve or decompose matrix A to its lower triangular matrix multiplied by the transpose of the lower triangular matrix. So this would now be 4 times 10, or 4, I should say, 4, 10, 8, we have 10, 26, 26, 8, 26, 61, equals A, B, C, D, E, F zero 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 and in the transpose of this one so when we say transpose the rows becomes columns and the columns becomes rows so this would be a zero zero we have b c zero then we have d e f all right so this is the lower triangular matrix and this would now be the transpose. So you can see that this row becomes a column, this row becomes a column, and this row becomes a column. 
So again, if we're going to multiply these two matrices, we will be having A times A. So we multiply the first row with the first column. We have A times A, so that's A squared. We multiply the first row with the second column. We have A times B. 0 times C, 0 times 0, so it's basically A times B. And then multiplying this row with this column, we have A times D plus 0 times E plus 0 times F. Next row, we multiply this one or this row with this, this, and this. All right? So we have B times A or that's A times B and then we have C times 0. And then we have C time, uh, 0 times 0. Next, we have B times B, so that's B squared, plus C times C, so that's C squared, and then 0 times 0, so that's equal to 0. And for the last uh, element here, we have B times D, we have C times E, so plus C times E, and then we have 0 times F. And for the last one, we have D, Right, so we multiply this one with this, this, and this. We have D times A, or that's A, A times D. We have E times or B, uh, E times C. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. So we have A times D. We have E times 0, F times 0. And then we have B times D. plus e times c, right? So that's e times c, and then we have f times 0. And lastly, we have d times d, so that's d squared, e times e, e squared, f times f, so plus f squared. So this is now the resulting matrix, and we're going to equate it to the corresponding elements of the coefficient matrix to solve for a, b, c, d, and E and F. Alright. So, what we can solve here would be A. A squared is equal to 4. Alright. So, if we're going to equate A squared B equal to 4, A would be equal to 2. The next one would be A times B. And this would now be equal to A times B. So, that's equal to 10. But A is equal to 2. So, that's 2 times B equals 10. Therefore, B equals Five. For letter C, right? can we solve for letter C now? Not yet. We can solve for letter D. So A times D equals 8. A is equal to 2. D equals 8. Therefore, D equals 4. And since we know the value of B, we can already solve for the value of C. So B squared plus C squared, that's equal to 26. So b squared, so this is 5 squared, plus c squared equals 26, or this is 25 plus c squared equals 26, c squared equals 26, transpose this on the right side, we have positive 1. So c is equal to 1. Letter E. Can we solve for letter E? Do we know b? Yes. Do we know d? Yes. Do we know c? Yes. We can solve for letter E. E. So solving for letter E, we have BD plus EC equals 26. Alright, so we're going to equate 26 with this one. So B is 5, D is 4 plus E, so that's the unknown, times 1 equals 26. So 20 plus E equals 26, so E is equal to because if we're going to transpose 20 on the right side, we will be having 6. And lastly, solving for f, we have d squared plus e squared plus f squared that's equal to 61. So 61. So d squared, that's equal to 4 squared plus e squared, so that's equal to 6 squared plus f squared, so that's equal to 61. If we're going to transpose 4 squared and 6 squared on the right side, we'll be having f squared equals 61 minus 16 minus 30.
6. Evaluating this uh, expression, we have 61 minus 16, so that's equal to 45 minus 36, so that will give us uh, 9. And if we're going to uh, solve for the value of f, f is equal to 3. Now, we, ov we all have the values of a to f. Therefore, we can already solve for the values of x. But again, since a is equal to L times L transpose and A times X equals B. Substitute the value of A in here. We have L, L transpose times X equals B. If we're going to let this one be equal to Y, therefore we have L times Y equals B and L transpose times X be equal to Y. So we need to solve for the value of y first before we can solve for the values of x. So if we're going to write our lower triangular matrix here, we have a is 2, b is 5, c is 1, letter d is 4, letter e is 6, and letter F is 3. So 0, 0, 0. And the transpose of this one, rows become becomes uh, rows become columns and columns become rows. So they have 2, 0, 0, 5, 1, 0, and 4, 6, 3. Alright. So using this uh, expression, we have 2, 0, 0, 5, 1, 0, 4, 6, 3, multiplied by y1, y2, and y3. And this will now be equal to the coefficient, uh, the constant matrix 44, 128, 214. 44, 128, 214. Alright, so let me just check that again. Alright, so that's correct. Solving for y1, we have, or if we're going to multiply first this one with this matrix, we will be having 2, y1, 0 plus 0, and then we have 5, y1, plus y2, and then we have 4, y1, plus 6, y2, plus 3, y3. And this would now be equal to 44, 128, 1, uh, 2, 14. So 2y1 equals 44, y1 equals 22. Solving for y2, we have 5y1 plus y2 equals 128. This would now be 5 times 22 plus y2 equals 128. And this is... 22 times 5, that's equal to 110, plus y2 equals 128, therefore y2 is equal to 18. And y3, alright, so solving for y3, we have 4y1 plus 6y2 plus 3y3 equals 214. 4 times 22, because that's equal to y1, plus 6 times 18 plus 3y3 3 equals 240. So bringing out our calculator here, we have 4 times 22, or that's 4 times 22, plus 6 times 18. Then if we're going to transpose this value to the right side, we will be having 3y3, equals 214 minus 196. So 214 minus 196, that's equal to 18. 3y3 is equal to 18. Therefore, y3 is equal to 6. Right? So the y matrix or the y vector would be 22, 18, and 6. Now, using these values of y, to solve for the values of x and using the transpose of the lower triangular matrix, we will now be having 2, 
254-016-003. So, that's 254-016-003. Let me check that again. Alright. Multiplied by x1, x2, and x3. And let's equate this to 22, 18, and 6. So, multiplying these two matrices, we have 2x1 plus 5x2 plus 4x3. x2 plus x or 6x3. And then 3x3, that would be the last. Um, element here. So, this is now equal to 22, 18, and 6. Therefore, we can solve for the values, uh, value of x3. We have 3x3 equals 6. Uh, let me just move this one here. Therefore, x3 is equal to 2. And then we have x2 plus 6x3 equals 18. That is x2 plus 6 times 2 equals 18. So, x2 is equal to 18. And then if we're going to transpose 6 times 2, 12 here, 18 minus 12, that's equal to 6. And lastly, we have 2x1 plus 5x2 plus 4x3, that's equal to 22. So, this is now 2x1 plus 5 times 6 plus 4 times 2 equals 20. Right? So, we have 2x1 equals 22 minus 5 times 6, that's 30, plus 4 times 2, that's 12, so that's, this would be 42. So, 2x1 equals negative 20, so x1 would now be equal to negative 10. So, summarizing our answers here, we have x1 equals negative 10, x2 equals positive 6, and x3 equals positive 10.